back to the middle, under some pressure. Sack! It's not Eddie Murphy, it's Caleb Murphy! <laughs> Another sack! Big chase, hit, fumbles, ball running free, it's been picked up, grabbing the football is PB Malik Willis. Touchdown, Titans! Sack! Trey Avery, touchdown, Titans! Titans All Access is back and better than ever. Ever wonder what it's like to gain 55 yards on one run? Wonder no more as Julius Chestnut takes you inside the five-yard line. Plus, we know what the Titans did this summer. Do you? We'll get you all caught up. Grateful to be here. Thank you, Nashville. Thank you, Tennessee. Let's get to work. And meet two of the newest Titans. Rookie quarterback Will Levis and running back Tajay Spears. All of that and plenty more as an all new season of Titans All Access kicks off now. But there he is, the Yuli Bulldozer, Derek Henry. Touchdown, Titans! Chig Akakwo. It is intercepted, fired on a deflection. Fires and it's intercepted, fired. Jeffrey Simmons. Pulls it with the interception. Welcome to the Bet MGM studio and year 21 of Titans All Access. With Amy Wells, I'm Mike Keith. Thrilled to have you with us as we get ready to kick off the 2023 regular season. Mike, we have reached the month of September, which is the best time of year because football is starting. But the Titans have had a pretty crazy summer. True. Very true. So let's give you guys an opportunity to see what the Tennessee Titans have been up to for the last couple months. The top football story of the summer came just before the start of training camp, the signing of five-time Pro Bowl wideout DeAndre Hopkins. Now Hopkins was looking for the perfect fit, and he found it in Nashville with the Titans. Especially someone in my situation going to year 11, uh, I wanted to be somewhere around people that I'm comfortable with. Uh, Ray Bull and I, you know, we've always kept communication over the years. The day before the official signing of DeAndre Hopkins, the organization gave the fans their first look at their Oilers throwback uniforms. And the response has been overwhelming in every area. Best throwbacks in the league. You know, I know a lot of teams are doing the throwbacks and all these different things. Um, I think they look really good. Uh, especially with the red, uh, the red face mask is going to look really cool. Two former Titans got some Hall of Fame love this summer. First, Chris Johnson was inducted into the Senior Bowl Hall of Fame in Mobile. It's special. Um, it was definitely surprising. I didn't know anything about it until I got the call and, and things like that. Um, just, I know how bad I wanted to come to the Senior Bowl to be able to compete with these guys because I knew my goal was I wanted to be a first round pick. On July 22nd, Keith Bullock became the newest former Titan to be inducted into the Tennessee Sports Hall of Fame. To honestly be here with these folks of like Middle Tennessee, Nashville, that kind of made me who I am. Obviously, I went out and I played and I did the thing, but you know, these fans are the ones that believed in me and it was great that they came out tonight to support myself as well as the other inductees. And on August 15th of first, the Titans Foundation Luncheon at the Grand Hyatt. It wasn't the first time the Titans Foundation had held a luncheon, but it was the first time in team history that the Titans held an event where every player on the roster was present. I like Derrick Henry and uh, Tart. Tart? Yeah. What, what, what's Tart taught you? He just, um, he'll, he'll just, he'll just tell me like, just stay consistent, keep working and stuff that, stuff that'll like help me out, that'll get me noticed. Make, make, sure, make sure you tell him those same things when he tells you those. Otis Reese, everybody. Otis Reese. The luncheon was a huge success, raising more than $400,000, and that money will go to benefiting so many different charities across Middle Tennessee. Kudos to everyone who was involved. Now it's time for my favorite part of the show. Mike Keith is joined by Coach Mack. We're there going beneath the surface powered by Microsoft Surface. Thank Mike. you, Amy. And we've got a new toy for Dave McGinnis this year in the Bed MGM studio. Coach Mack, 
How do you like this? So this is beautiful. I mean, this is, I mean, this is powered not only by Microsoft Surface, this is powered by atomic energy right here. Okay. This Let's, is really good stuff. We're going to start with Derek Carr. He was the quarterback of the Las Vegas Raiders last year when he played against the Titans. We've seen him several times. Want to take a look at a couple of the things that he does well, Coach Mack. I'll let you take it away. Well, first of all, what you've got in Derek Carr, number four back here, this is a veteran, veteran quarterback. So you're going to, the, the defense for the Titans, we're going to have to be able to show him a lot of false looks. What we're going to see here first with him, you see him standing tall in a pocket. He is able to, to stand tall and discern what's going on behind him. This was good coverage, but he doesn't panic. Here's what you get with veteran quarterbacks. They don't panic in the cylinder. Next up, Coach Cam Jordan, outstanding pass rusher in this league. Yeah, you keep talking about him and I'll circle it. Look all right. Cam, Cam Jordan is a guy, first of all, double-digit experience in this league. And what you will see, Dennis Allen will give him a lot of leeway in this defense. He's in a two-point. This is a two-point, so he's giving him some leeway on this five-man front in a two-point. You see the inside swim move, but then watch the two-hand shed, both inside and outside. The one thing that's always followed Cam Jordan throughout his career, relentless effort. And Dennis Allen understands what he's gotten in this veteran player. This is a classic speed to power move, walk the right tackle right back into the lap of Minshew back here in, in, in the backfield. So this guy here is a foundational piece for Dennis Allen and the New Orleans Saints for their defense. The Honey Badger is the next guy we're gonna look at on Dennis Allen's defense multiple alignments for the Honey Badger. He can do everything in the back end. And he plays a lot of second level too. So you never know where you're going to see him. So if you're the Titans this Sunday, how do you handle Honey Badger so that he's not a factor? Well, he'll be a factor. You're not going to keep him out of it completely, but what you need to do is understand where he is and know this. Know that you're going to have to give him some misdirection, either by alignment, either by personnel, but don't ever count him out. You can never count him out because as I said, the ball finds him, he finds the ball. Coach Mack, thanks for taking us beneath the surface powered by Microsoft Surface. Thank you very much. I get to take this home? Yes, take thanks. It with you. We've got a lot more of Titans All Access coming up. And have you ever heard the term better to be lucky than good? Well, we were in Minnesota because we put a mic on Julius Chestnut and he had a big night against the Vikings. We'll show you his wired for sound later, but coming up next, Amy Wells and a Nissan Insider with one of the newest Titans, quarterback Will Levis. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Titans All Access. When the Titans were able to trade up and select Will Levis with the 33rd pick overall in the 2023 draft, the football team was excited, and to say the least, Will Levis was excited. Amy Wells finds out about that and so much more in this Nissan Insider. What shows up on your tape that you're most proud of? I think just my dependability. I think just my ability to go out there and execute a game plan and be a leader and a guy that people, you know, want to surround themselves with. I just feel like, you know, I'm a competitor and I'm someone who's going to go out there to do anything that it takes to win. Your kind of mantra has been never give up. Tell me about where that came from. From my grandfather. So, I mean, he was, he was you know, old school. He always sit me down for, for conversations when I was a little kid to, to, you know, until he passed to teach me different life lessons and teach me how to be a man, how to be a better player, how to be a better student. And he'd end every single conversation conversation with and remember will never give up that was his his mantra that he lived by and he would send me little gifts every Christmas whatever that pertained to that message so uh, so yeah I mean that just stuck with me it's a very simple way to I think uh, live your life but very effective how has that impacted the way that you approach not only your career but your life in general just a relentless attitude towards everything I really just want to be the best that I can be at anything that I do uh, I want to I want to win every football game I, I want to beat my grandma on Scrabble every time I play her you know like that's the competitive nature that, that I feel like I have, even though my record against her is probably like two in a hundred. I get pissed off every time I lose to her, you know? So I mean, but I, I just want to, you know, better myself in all ways as a person, uh, as a competitor, as a player. You're from Connecticut. You've really kind of embodied the Southern hospitality. You fit right in. You only spent two years in Kentucky, but it really seems like you've embraced this region. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, that, that was my home. I, I, I slowly kind of tried to understand the best that I could, just um, the culture and the, and the community of the area that I was ingrained in and that I had such a, a high impact on with the position that I was in. So I did my best to kind of 
touch different people, touch different areas. Uh, I look to do the same thing here. I mean, I, I want to be able to make sure that I can, you know, reach out to the different parts of the Nashville and Tennessee community to, to really know the types of people that I'll be interacting with and that I'll be influencing. You happy you're staying in the South? I'm happy, yeah, especially being so close to Kentucky and so many fans uh, from Kentucky that are going to be able to make the trip. My sister's moving to Lexington, so she's not very far. I'll be able to, uh, you know, be able to visit her. She'll be able to visit me. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is, uh, like I said, this is, this is where I wanted to be, and I'm just so glad to be here. I don't know about you, but I want any guy that doesn't want to lose to Granny and Scrabble as my quarterback. Coming up later, we'll actually have Nissan Insider number two, running back Tajay Spears. We'll sit down with Amy Wells. But up next, when Titans All Access continues, another running back, Julius Chestnut, wired for sound. Stay with us. This is Stadium in 60. A quick update on the Titans' new stadium. The new Titans stadium will feature a versatile community space. The hope is that this facility is constantly in use. Johari Matthews is a Titans vice president and executive director of the Titans Foundation. So it is 12,000 square feet that we hope can be used as a multi-purpose area for community groups, nonprofits, a convener of spaces for organizations that may need a place to come and meet to talk about what's happening in the city of Nashville, but also for programming. We want people and our neighbors in the community to really see us as a part of Nashville beyond just football. We want our neighbors to see us as a trusted organization that they can lean on, but also as an organization that shows up in time of need, but also in times of celebration. For the latest news, visit titansnewstadium.com. Welcome back to Titans All Access. Mike Keith, you know what I love? A good cup of Duncan. I do love a good cup of Duncan, but I also love a good player wearing a microphone while he's playing football. A wired for sound, if you will. And not surprisingly, we tie in Duncan here because we have a new feature on Titans All Access. We call it Listen Up with Duncan as we are going to wire a player or a coach or a staff member on every show. I love that. Who do we have this week? Well, it's pretty good. Julius Chestnut was wired for sound in the preseason game against Minnesota. We thought, well, Let's give Juice a chance. Well, it turns out that Julius Chestnut had a big game rushing for 98 yards and making things happen and saying and doing a lot of interesting things. We start you off with a great edition of Listen Up presented by Duncan. Here's Julius Chestnut. Let's play football at U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Have fun today. I mean, set eye to the right. Gonna run Spears that way. Nice hold. Jumps over a man him, to the 25, him, to the yep. 20, to the yes, 15, Tajay. to the 10, oh, to yeah. the 5. And so, touchdown, Titans! Tajay Spears! That was a good run. Chestnut on the right, here he comes. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and he is taken down on a hustling play by Theo Jackson. Let's go, come on. Gonna give it to Chestnut on the right. He cuts back to Little, he dives forward into the end zone. Touchdown, Titans! None other than Julius Chestnut. There we go. And a boy! Uh. Well, it's going to throw. Fires into the end zone, and it is caught. Touchdown, Titans! They give Chestnut another crack at it through the air, and he makes a brilliant catch. Malik! Catch that damn thing, man, bro. Let's go, boy. Proud of you, man, for real. Keep going. Alright, man. Proud of you too, young. <laughs> Final score, Tennessee 24. Minnesota 16. Shoot! Great game! Finish with a dub, first dub. <laughs> Had to. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
So now you've heard what Julius Chestnut sounds like on the field during a game, and it's pretty awesome. Awesome. But when we come back from the break, you're going to hear what Tajay Spears sounds like when he sits down to talk to me in a little interview. Ah, that's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. And later in the show, we'll have my seat geek keys to knocking off the Saints this Sunday. A lot more coming up on this edition of Titans All Access. Stay with us, please. On third down, Hall from the shotgun looks to his right, comes back to the middle, under some pressure. Sack! It's not Eddie Murphy, it's Caleb Murphy! <laughs> Another sack! Welcome back to Titans All Access. When rookie running back Tajay Spears saw the Titans schedule in May, he could not believe it that the team was going to open the season in his hometown of New Orleans. So he is going back to the Big Easy this Sunday for his first professional game. Amy Wells covers that and a lot more with number 32 Tajay Spears in our second Nissan Insider of this Titans All Access. Yeah, where we going to the top? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all ready? We hit the volume. Yeah, yeah. Ready, set, I'm already gone. Huh. On the way to a million. Grind hard, put a city on. Word, word. And the crowd chance made my heart throb while the other team. Go, go, to the top, go. Until I drop, I never stop. You're very confident in your skill set. You gotta be, because, um, at first, I wasn't like this. Like probably like a year or two ago, I wasn't like this. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to step into that, into that confidence range and see how far to take me. It's confidence, not cockiness, though. I just want to, you know, clear that up. What changed that gave you that confidence? Showing myself that I can do it on all these different levels. We play some good, good competition at Tulane. We play some real good competition week in and week out because any given week you can lose if you're not, you know, locked in. Experiencing all these bowl games and experiencing these senior bowls and the combine, interacting with all these people and like, dang. I'm the same and if it's different is you know it's a plus in, in my in my direction but um like I said I'm humble so yeah you attribute a lot of your success to your dad why is that because he never gave up on me we, we've been through our highs together and we've been through our low 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 lows together like he was a man that was on my side the whole time uh, he never left me even when nobody else said they believed in me uh, everybody gonna say they believe in me now but even when nobody else said they believe in me he kept pushing it in my head and uh, he told me he believed in me, showed me, because he had every right to leave, and um, it was just me and him for a long, long time. What's the number one lesson that you've learned throughout your career? You gotta always be yourself. You're gonna have to adjust on the fly. Set eye to the right, gonna run Spears that way. Nice hold, jumps over a man to the 25, to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, oh, to yeah, the five, okay. end zone! Touchdown, Titans! Tajay Spears! You are going to have the opportunity to play in front of your friends and family back home in New Orleans where you're from in an NFL uniform, in a Tennessee Titans uniform. What is that moment gonna be like for you? It's crazy because I'm trying to like take it all in. That's like, let's, 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 let's go a little bit before that. Like I got the opportunity to play in the NFL. I don't know too many people that's from my hometown that, that, can, that can say that, that's doing it. So like, I'm very appreciative for that. That's what like somebody was telling me the other day, uh, like, man, when y'all come down here and play the Saints, it's gonna be like a home game for you because all your people gonna be here. I'm gonna have probably like the whole city there. So it's, it's gonna be amazing. And I, and I plan to have a big game. Definitely excited to see Tajay play in front of friends and family this Sunday in New Orleans, hoping he has a big, big game. Is he one of the keys to Sunday? Well, I'll throw out my Seat Geek keys when Titans All Access returns. Stay with us. It's time for the decision of the week, brought to you by Hughes and Coleman, the official injury lawyers of the Tennessee Titans. The Titans' decision to sign wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins is our focus this week. The five-time Pro Bowler came to the Titans from the Arizona Cardinals, where he caught 64 passes in just nine games last season. For his career, Hopkins has over 11,000 yards receiving and an amazing 71 touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins will start making an impact for the Tennessee Titans this Sunday in New Orleans. Signing him was a good decision. Injured in a car wreck? Call Hughes and Coleman Injury Lawyers for a free case evaluation at 800-800-4600. Hughes and Coleman, Principal Office in Nashville, Tennessee. 
Mike Keith, it's time. And you know what? I'm geeking out about these keys. Presented by Seat Geek. Seat Geek. The official ticket partner of the Tennessee Titans. Let's start off with number one. Protect Ryan Tannehill at all costs. You saw Cam Jordan earlier in the show with Coach Mack. He is a dangerous pass rusher. This new look Titans offensive line needs to be good on Sunday against the Saints. Take care of number 17, and I think he'll have a really good day. All right, give us another key. Well, the second key is don't let the Saints run the football. Derek Carr is their new quarterback. They don't have Alvin Kamara in this game. You would think they're going to want to try to get some semblance of a running game going to take pressure off of Carr and also to put Carr in a position where he can use play action, which he does effectively. The big thing to me is if they can't get a running game started and they make the Saints one-dimensional with Derek Carr, big advantage for the Titans defense. Don't let the Saints get the run game started. How about the Titans run game? Oh, you got to pound Derrick Henry, but you really got to pound him in the second half. What I think you want to see out of the Titans in this ball game is get ahead, get a lead to where the crowd is out of it a little bit, and then down the stretch, take number 22 and let him batter this defense again and again and again. I hope you can pound him in the third and fourth quarter. I love it when the keys are back. You like the keys? I love the you keys. You just love that Titans All Access is back. I love the Titans All Access is back. I love being able to talk about a game. I am fired up. It feels good to be back. Titans Saints this Sunday, noon central time is the kickoff. You can hear our broadcast on the great Titans radio stations throughout the region, beginning with Titans countdown at 11 a.m. central. We hope you'll join us. A big one from the Big Easy, Tennessee at New Orleans this Sunday to open 2023, the 25th season of the Tennessee Titans. For Amy Wells and our fine staff, I'm Mike Keith. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.